Hey guys! Okay, so today I decided to film a get ready with me chit chat type video. So this is what it's gonna look like at the end. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Hey guys! Okay, so I'm just gonna get ready today. I've got messy hair. I'm not gonna leave my hair like this, but this is just kind of the way that I'm wanting to get my hair out of my face this morning. So, um, so I'm getting ready to go to work at Express this morning. It's going to be a long day, so I've got to get my skin all ready to go. So I've already moisturized, and I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm going to spray this a couple times today. I feel like mine has a little clot somewhere in there because it goes in all weird directions. So, um, Okay, so first I'm going to start with my eyes because I got to find Okay, I'm going to use Painterly Paint Pot by MAC um, just to prep to prime them make sure everything stays in place today because I don't want anything to budge also if you think I'm talking fairly quiet it's because I am I am um, where I'm filming my wall right there connects to the next condo's wall and Think someone could be there? I don't know. Kitty, can you tell me if the neighbor's parked outside? He can't tell me. Um, okay, so this is actually a fairly easy eye, um, but I'm really enjoying it. Hey, Shadows, where are you? Okay, so this is the NARS um, Novu Monde, and these are the colors in it. See, like a nice green and lilac that I don't use. And, um, I'm just going to take the Sigma E55 and um, put it in my shadow and I'm just going to plunk it on there and I really like green so my eyes are green and I don't actually wear a lot of green eyeshadow because I don't like to make it too heavy but what do I know? I don't know anything. so. Okay, next eye, and I just like to um, not uh, sweep it around too much, I like to just kind of tap it on there, so that way, because the green's pretty heavy, and I don't want it to get under my eyes, because my eyes are already dark enough. Oh my gosh, I got a sample of the La Mer stuff. For my Nordstrom, I didn't even ask for it originally, but um, it's the under eye cream. That stuff is so expensive. Holy cow, $180. Now I, I don't know if I pay that much for it. Although, oopsie, that's going to be fun to clean up. Um, although I do find that it's really pretty, so I wouldn't, I'm not opposed to paying for it. I mean, my husband would be opposed to paying for it, but... <laughs> but you know whatever okay and yeah it's the color I want I'm gonna use my medium angled shading brush in E70 Sigma and I'm gonna pick up Max Quarry it's like a nice uh, medium brown it reminds me of something from I can't remember what, from my Naked 2 palette I, I really like that color but I was definitely using way too much of it and so I wanted something that I could uh, kind of replace it with that was a close enough color I feel like it's what boxy maybe or something and I'm just putting that right on the crease and in the corner to add a little bit of depth to the color and I'm gonna blend a lot well I'm gonna blend a bit not maybe a whole heck of a lot but quite a bit so that way everything kind of meshes together and my lights are a little bit clearer, cleaner not clearer because that would be weird and then I'm trying to debate if I want to do this right now or not I'm going to so now I'm just going to take uh, Carbon this is from the Taste Temptations palette um, the eyeshadow for 
I'm those bunch of purples. I don't even wear purple, but I have this for some reason. I'm just going to barely tap my brush in it because I just want it in the outer V just to add a little bit more darkness. Barely tap. Pew, pew, pew. Sometimes you gotta make your own sound effects in life. True story. Mustard's gotten into my closet. He's gonna get stuck in there and then he's gonna get angry. And not angry. Oh! He's back out. Look at you. You're getting to be such a big boy. Okay. What do you do now? Okay. So I am gonna take out my Naked 2 palette and I want to use the color Foxy. So what I was saying was not right. I was talking about T's. T's. T's kind of is similar to Cory, which makes me happy. So yay. Um, and then I'm going to just take a little blending brush from Sigma, the E25, and I'm going to pick up Foxy, which is that nudish color, cream color with no shimmer on it, and just put it right on my my brow. So that way I have a little bit of dimension or whatever. So the H&M that's being built at my mall, it's so fun. There's like, I mean it's not there yet, but they're building it still. And oh, now I'm going to take a little bit of, what's this color, booty cow. Just a light shimmer. I'm just gonna plop that on there. I shouldn't use that because it makes my eyebrows that have not been plucked in a while kind of noticeable, but I don't really care. I'm still gonna use it. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna take a blending, tapered blending brush, the Sigma E40, and just kind of mix it in. Mixy, mixy, mixy. I know, this part's exciting. Oh, anyway, so the H&M that just got built, it has, um, it's still being built right now. They took over a building space that, that when the flood happened, the Gibson uh, building, well, the Gibson space never reopened. And so it's just been sitting there. And so that's like a store and a cross from me. And so I'm kind of excited that they're going to be opening the, uh, the H&M there but outside the mall because right right when you walk into the mall there's the H&M mustard um the H&M it has these massively giant people like on it and it's so weird it's just so weird because I took a picture with it I'll post it at the end of this video maybe um with me and then the H&M I felt like I was a munchkin on the uh, Wizard of Oz, so. Okay, so now that I've got that blended in, I'm just going to tap a little bit more green back in here. Just right in the middle, and then even in the front, in the front, in the inner. Because I'm going to want this to last all day, because i got to work all day. A really long shift today. Okay, well. eyes look so tired okay so next I'm gonna use my Stila all still a stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner it's in intense black it's intense I'm not good I mean I guess I could show you but it doesn't matter I'm just gonna literally put that right on my eye like this liner because I'm really bad at like cat eye and like in like that kind of style like it's just not I'm not good at it so I like using this so that way I can pretend that I know what I'm doing I 
because I don't. That doesn't match. Ugh, don't you hate when that happens when your eyeliner's not even or the same? You're like, hey buddy. But then when you have like those magical days when like everything just goes right and your eyeliner just looks like perfect. Those are the best. And you've only done like, you only had to do it like one, nothing else to fix and make it look matchy matchy. Whatever, that's close enough. I don't really care. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And phew, close. Let that dry a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now I'm going to take my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in light. Looks like that. It has like six different colors that you can blend it in with. And um, I like that I can blend and make multiple colors. I was I had to go back and talk to the MAC people because I was like, I'm not using this properly. Can you help me? Um, I'm going to put this. I put this on a little bit before I put my foundation on. Um, because I feel like it has a little bit more staying power. And I just put it on my like blemish spot. I don't put it like on my under eye or anything like that. Um, but I put it like right around my nose and then the reason I like to do this with before I put my foundation on is it helps with since I use my uh, beauty blender it helps to kind of blend it out a little bit that because my face has been not so nice lately okay we're gonna come back to this too I need to get all these shades these brushes out of my way All right, so I'm gonna use Mac Match Masters um, in 1.0 because I have zero tan going on right now. Isn't that fun? Not really. Um, and then look at this. This is just a thing to put my foundation on. The nice people at my friend Mac, not my friend, Mac, the nice people at Mac, my friend who works there, she gave me that because I always like it. And I get it on my hand and then it just gets smudgy. I'm just gonna use a water bottle or water to get this damp because honestly I'm just too lazy to go out into there. And so now here's my beauty blender. And I'm gonna take this and put them on spots that I like. Or not that I like, because I don't like any of these. Oh no, oh no, I almost did that again when I was at MAC the other day. <laughs> We're just going to look at these dots for a little while. When I was at MAC the other day, they gave me a sample of the line filler because I was talking to them about how like I didn't really like that. I could see all of these fine lines under my eyes. So she gave me this sample. I forgot I wanted to try it. Oh, wow, look at it. Already you could see a difference. I could see a difference. You don't have to see a difference. I'm only going to use this like under my eyes because that's where I'm like super self-conscious. Um, I'm self-conscious about my wrinkles up here, but in all honesty, that's not going anywhere. So I'm not going to be able to get rid of those with this, but this will help with the fine lines under my eyes for sure. Won't help with like the thick lines there either though, which sucks, but you know, what can you do? I mean, in Botox, that might help. I can't afford Botox. Alright, so back to my beauty blender. I'm gonna work this in with just some taps like that. Just working that in. Do, 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 do. Um, I like to do my foundation after I do my eyes because I feel like my like cause you see like I kind of smeared some like of the dark shadows that fell I find that if I put it on after, 
it doesn't like I don't get as much fall I mean I get fall but you can't see it nearly as much as when I do it the other way because then I'm working on cleaning up the foundation that I've already made so I'm take a little bit of that and I flipped it to the inner side and I'm gonna just touch on that because I'm going to use uh, my concealer on that it's just it's nice to have some prettiness going on okay so now that the foundation is on and I finally feel like my moles are healing which makes me very happy very 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 happy that's not what I want where's what I want okay so I'm gonna use the MAC prep and prime in the highlighter and light boost and you're gonna notice that this is super yellow oh crap oops um so we'll take some there and some here um it's a little yellow for me or a lot of it yellow but that's okay and then we'll do a little up here a little here a little on the quiz buh buh and i'm gonna put just a little here i know that i would like a little bit of highlighting um and then you know we're gonna blend it I'm going to blend it with my fingers right now because I meant to get use a brush and then I forgot to clean one. You're jealous. That's not true. You're not. It'd be weird if you were jealous of my forgetfulness. Is my shadow brush? No. I use one of these for my concealer too. So we'll just work that right on it. Boom, boom, boom. This stuff seems to like kind of set a little fast, but that's okay. Cause we're gonna work it, work it in, girl, work. I don't even know what that song is that I just made up, but I'm making it up. So, um, I'm so excited because I'm taking a couple days off next week for from my day job. Um, well, I'm not taking a couple days off. One day is we already get off because of Good Friday, so we get Good Friday off. And then, um, put a little bit more up here. And then we, then I'm taking the Thursday before off. And then at Express, I have to work because it's the day before Easter. And so, you know, there's no work. You can't take a day off. You can't take that day off. And then, um, all right, that's fairly blended in. Um, and then the next day, which is Easter, is David's birthday. So, he's excited about his birthday, maybe. Maybe not. Um, maybe not so much. And so I'm just putting, I'm just tapping this on right up here. The reason I'm adding this is because I want to just add a little bit, like, more of a natural color from that yellow onto it. And the colors I'm using are the W10 and the NW20 uh, concealers. And these are from, these are, these are the, uh, Studio Sculpt, I think. I don't remember what they are. I thought, maybe I'm wrong, I think that these are the Studio, uh, concealers. Something, I don't know. Don't, don't ask. I don't know what I'm saying. Um. Okay, put a little more there. Okay. And now, we are going to contour. And this stuff's probably not going to take that much longer anymore. Ooh. Let's put a little bit more of this on now that the foundation's done. Setting spray. Oh, uh, we're going to have a monster break. They don't pay me for this, but they could if they wanted. I'd let them, because these are good. Looks like I'm not wearing this shirt to work today. I think I have a drink on my face. Oh, that dry? Okay. And so, to contour, 
I'm just going to use my NARS Laguna bronzer and just a little crease brush. I'm just going to bring that in right here because I want a little bit more contour. I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to do a little bit. No light because I'm kind of pale right now so I don't want to do too dark of a color. Okay. And then from there I'm going to pick up my uh, soft sand bronzing powder from the Hey Sailor collection. And then a, a fun brush somewhere. No fun brush. Ah, there's my fun brush, I guess. It's the powder brush. Powder blush brush. And then I'm just going to take that and then I, I tend to just kind of swirl it around. Like that. We added some color down the neck. It's all gloomy outside today. I guess, you know, can't have all sunshine around this place. Who am I kidding? We don't get sunshine in this place. Okay, and so now I'm going to take my Bellissima Kat Von D blush. Thanks, Jessie, for this. This is a fun color. And hair all over me. Oh my gosh, what's happening here? It looks like that. Okay. And I'm just going to take my MAC 167 SH short handle. This was also from the Hey Sailor collection. And this on me is pretty pigmented, so I have to be a little, I mean, look at that already. I've got to be a little careful because I, I mean, I like a heavy blush on me, but I it's easy for me to overdo it. I probably already did already. Well, on camera it looks like I did, but in my mirror it does not, so. And I always like to do this right on the apples of my cheek. I don't know why. It's just what I like to do. Okay, so we got that on. And then I'm going to take a Sigma Large Angled Contour. And I'm going to take the... Hey, buddy, where are ya? Oh, there it is. And I'm going to just take the Archie's Girls Veronica's blush. It has this pretty little stuff on them. And I'm not going to take anything from the heart. I'm just going to take stuff from the side. That's why I use the contour. And I just tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. And then whatever is excess up here. Up in here. Okay, so there's that. And then now I'm going to just, because I should have done this earlier, but I just forgot. I'm going to take the Forever Maryland Beauty Powder, that, and then just a tapered Kabuki F86 from Sigma, and just put that right in here to set the concealer stuff. Okay, and now I'm just going to take the Sigma Large Powder F20. And the NARS, what? NARS? Crazy. The NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Press Powder looks like that. Looks like you've got nothing on your brush, okay? See, I put this in here. You can barely see anything. And then I just tap it on my face. And this helps to do something. I don't know. I don't know if it works on me. I'm still... Up in the A or A A or don't find me, Florida. I just sang your song. Okay, so there's that. And now we will go and use. I always do my mascara at the end. Isn't that weird? Um, I'm just gonna use my Shmurmur. I don't remember what brand this was, but it's my eyelash curler. And. Do you see that? Mustard. That's not acceptable. Okay. Do this, do that. Ow! I put it in the bottom and then I work my way out like pew pew pew. There's no gerbil out there. There's not even a gerbil right there. 
Okay, and then I'm going to take the Lancome uh, Hypno Star sample. I've been rocking. I love this sample. The regular stuff I'm not so sure about because the wand is like really small here, which I really like because I can just get right on in there. But the regular stuff you can't, which makes me so sad. I have to leave for work in like five minutes. Guess it works out that I'm just about done, huh? And that I only have four minutes left on my camera. And my friend, my friend uh, Jessica, Gem or Jerica, because I figured she told me how to say her name, kind of. She does her mascara like this. Well. And by like this, I just mean she uses her left hand because I'm not very coordinated. I can't do that. Have you guys seen the wand on this? Isn't that wand crazy? Look at that. That's just nuts. Okay. Back to the important part. Mascara. I'm going to just turn this off for a second. Okay, so last but not least, I'm going to take this again. I'm just going to line the bottom of my eye. Like that, which I probably should have done already, but whatever. I tend to like to do that after I put on everything so that way it doesn't get too... Like, I don't end up covering it up with my foundation after I do it at the end. And then I just took, um, Sable. And I mixed that up on the top. And then now... Now pull some of that color off. Ow, my foot's asleep. And just take a little bit of booty call on here. And what I'm using is just uh, uh it's just a pencil E30 from Sigma. And then I'm gonna mix that all the way around. Stop that. And then that's it. And then now I'm just gonna take my NARS uh, black eyeliner. And just put this on my waterline. Like that. I can't I can't do my under eyeliner liner. I mean my upper under waterline liner. Like some people. Okay. And last but not least, it's the lipstick. It's the Rouge Rouleau Shine in number 8, which is Pink and Confidence. And that right there is the... This color seems to be like my me color, like my my most favorite color. So, so yeah. Oh, gosh, I didn't do my brows. Let's do that real fast. Because no one likes a messy brow. I mean, no one likes my brows right now, but that's fine, too. I think my camera's going to die in just a second. Well, it's not going to die. I'm going to run out of memory space. Because I forgot to delete another video off of here. But, so that's it. Okay, so this is the finished look. Looks like that. I kind of have some messy spaces on my mascara because I went up a little bit crazy really fast. So that's it. I um, hope you like it. And I will see you guys later. Bye.